In this video, I want to show you how you can export your puzzles generated with the Jigsaw or Sudoku generator as a PowerPoint file. So, once you've got all your desired settings and visuals, what you want to do is under Export Format, hit the checkbox that says PPTX, as that is a PowerPoint file. Now, under here, you'll see that we've got two options initially. That's basic settings and advanced settings. So I'm gonna start with the basic settings and then after I'm gonna cover the advanced settings. So our first option here is our page size and then this is in inches. And then what this drop down box uh, gives you is just a list of preset KDP trim sizes that you can choose from. For example, if I go for 8.5 by 11, and then if I hit the update preview button on the right hand side, this will then generate what my puzzle will look like in my PowerPoint file. Now after this is for my margins. So by default here, I have a minimum margin of half inch on the top and bottom, half inch on the left and right, and I have zero for a gutter margin. So where you might like a gutter margin is, for example, if you're creating a book that's got lots of pages in, what can happen is the content can appear to be sucked into the binding of the book. So this pushes the puzzles outwards towards the outward edge of the page which gives a better visual and obviously it's easier for people to fill the puzzles in. After this is the options for how many puzzles per page that you want. So we've got one through to eight here. If I go with two and then solutions per page again, one through to eight and I go for six and then I hit update preview that will then generate a preview for me of how my puzzle page will look and how a solution page will look. Now it's worth noting that when you are generating a preview for the PDF or the PowerPoint files, they take a bit longer than say, for example, the image files. So what I would do is I'll get your visual sorted and there's a video covering that on YouTube. I get the visual sorted, um, selecting you know, an image file, and then when you want to play around with the layout, then switch over to either PDF or in this case, for this example, a PowerPoint file. So as you can see now, this is how my pages would look. And if I can click this to make this bigger, at the minute, my puzzle pages would look like this here with two puzzles per page. And then my solutions would look like this here with six per page. Now, what I can also do, like I said earlier, if I wanted to, I could increase my margin. Say for example, I think that's a little bit too small at the top. I can increase that a little bit more, hit the update preview, and then that will then update here. And then what you see here is exactly how it will look in your generated PowerPoint file. So we'll just wait for that to complete. And as you can see now, there's a little bit more space at the top and bottom. Now, if you are exporting into a PowerPoint file, what you'll probably want to do, both you know, for yourself and for the customer, is to obviously have titles and numbering on your puzzles, that way, Customers can link obviously the puzzle to the solution if they need to reference and so on. So to do that, we just tick the show title here. And then again, you can edit this. So by default, all my Sudoku's uh, would have the title Sudoku above, and then that would be Sudoku one, two, three, four. And then all my solutions would then have Sudoku in brackets solution one, two, three, four, and so on. So if I hit update preview, that will then update this preview here. Now, 
You can, of course, control the size and the placement of the title and the font, etc. But that is covered in the visual um, video. So if you do want to modify that, check out the visual video and that will show you how to do it. So as you can see now, I have my file, I have my titles here and my titles here as well. So obviously if I was then happy, I would hit save as, choose where I want to save my PowerPoint file and hit generate and then just wait for the process to complete. Now, we also have the option for advanced settings. So this adds a few options here. The first difference is rather than um, having a list of preset uh, trim sizes, this enables you to type in whatever size that you like. For example, I've gone for eight inches on the width and 12 on the height. And obviously again, if I hit update, that will then give me an updated preview of how my puzzles would look generated on that size. Again, we have the margins again, and these are exactly the same as before, the top and bottom, left and right, and the gutter. A new option you have here on the advanced settings is to control the horizontal and vertical spacing between the puzzles. For example, as you can see, both horizontally and vertically, they're quite close. So what you might like to do for example, is I can increase that slightly. Again, hit the update preview button to get my updated preview. Just wait for that process to complete. And then as you can see now, both horizontally and vertically, I have much more spacing so what the advanced settings does, it gives you a lot more control of how you want your puzzles laid out in your PowerPoint file. Now again, finally, same as before. So once I'm all happy with my layout and how it looks, obviously, same as before, the puzzles per page and solution per page, all I've got to do now, same again, hit save as, choose where I want to save my PowerPoint file, and then hit generate. So I hope this quick introduction video to the uh, PowerPoint export feature of the Jigsaw Sudoku Generator helps you. Thank you for watching.